Hey Vivi, you want a hot dog? <laughs> Just to let you know, the Chabador t-shirts are still being sold. Show the world how little you care. Chabador basically means half-assed or just okay or kind of the equivalent of the English ish. This phrase in Chinese society is kind of tantamount to how everything works there. So if you're a fan of the channel, Lao86, go out there and show the world. Chabador. Show everyone that you gave it your half. That you're almost there. There's only a few days left on this campaign, so make sure you get your shirt today and support the channel. Enjoy! Hey, Lowners, it's Loudy6 here with another video. Uh, we're headed to Chinatown right now, but uh, we are no warmer than before. Checking our GPS, make sure we're not lost. Um, we keep getting pelted with, with Mormon and Hanukkah celebrations, as well as telling us that we are losers because we're wearing fur. And um, it's starting to get to me. It's starting to get to me. Anyway, Chinatown in New York City, one of the biggest in the world. Vivi's actually never been to New York City or Chinatown, so this is your first time for that as well. A lot of firsts, and I'm super pumped to be pumped. Let's do it. How do you feel in the New York Metro? Oh, it's really crowded, but it's okay. <laughs> it's kind of like China in that respect, isn't it? Not really. In China, all the metro stations, even in... Uh, Have you ridden the metro in China? Yeah, even in Shenzhen, it's like... Not... Have you ridden in Guangzhou or Beijing? Guangzhou? I feel like no, I could lay down probably, here. Probably because it's really... Um, what's it called? Because the, the MRT is really big. Right. Are you in Taiwan here, MRT? This one is kind of small. Vivi, they have pork neck from a cow. It's the same kind, right? We lo my dad loves it. We should pick him up some. How is it, Vivi? Is it good? Yeah. Looks nice. Bye bye. Uh, I tried to buy the what's it called um, pork jerky and beef jerky for for our dad, and I can't believe we we just got recognized. The the lady found out like, oh, did you? I you look really familiar. Did you on YouTube cooking something? <laughs> no way. Yeah. So uh, actually, I got a Chinese calendar, which is great. Awesome. Yeah, it's it's weird. <laughs> it's really weird. Hong Kong supermarket. I'm so homesick right now. We've oh just been God, back for like a couple look weeks. At all those stuff that How I'm can you be homesick to? already? I don't know. <laughs> look at the bouts and stuff. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's Tindy Yao. What is that? Yeah. It's uh, a vinegar it's drink. It's just uh, apple vinegar drink. It's, oh I never God, thought I'd see that in America. This oh, this version, it's like long gone in China. Oh, is it? They still have it here though? Yeah, this is like the... That's this crazy. This is not the apple vinegar. That's oh, wow. the original vinegar really? style. That's cool. I love this kind. That's great. It is pretty cool to see all this stuff. That you can get get all this stuff in America, which is amazing. I can't even buy those stuff near your home. Of course not. Oh, it was pretty cool to be in the Chinese supermarket in New York yeah, City. It is. The Hong Kong supermarket. Pretty much get everything you can in China. Definitely come here if you're looking for that kind of stuff. You know what I find absolutely bizarre is that <laughs> I feel more comfortable in this area <laughs> and more like local <laughs> than. It's not bizarre. I've lived in China for so long, but I, I literally some... associate with this more than I do with everything back there. Yeah, of course. How are you doing, man? Thank you. What's your name? 
I'm Alex, nice to meet you. Alex, cool. So you watch the channel, obviously. Oh yeah. <laughs> awesome, you and dude. Surfing, so. Awesome, dude. I used to watch you guys in China. Oh, cool, yeah, yeah. Uh, yo, China, what's up, China? What's up, China? Are you from China? No, I'm not. Oh, okay. From yeah. America. Well, thank you for the greeting, anyway. Appreciate yeah, it. keep up the good work. Awesome. Your videos are great. Super cool yeah. seeing you guys. Well. Awesome. Yeah. There's one Bizarre. question I yeah. want to ask. Sure. Like, is it, like, for example, your, for example, your parents, mm -hmm. those people who are not familiar with our culture. Of course. If they Most could, people aren't, to be yeah. fair. Well, they kind of feel scared to come over here. I wouldn't say scared. Maybe my mom. <laughs> Not because of the people are from different countries, just because they can't identify anything anyone's saying or the signs and things like that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'd say like they'd be totally out of their element, whereas I literally just got too relaxed here. Yeah. I'm just like, eh. Yeah, I'm back in China. <laughs> and all the language. And yeah, like I can understand everything. And it's bizarre. It's absolutely bizarre. Everything then, like, in Chinese. Why is it that when Chinese people go to different countries, they literally set up everything identically like back home? I couldn't tell the difference between these shops, you know? You literally would never know you're in America. Ooh. You know how you can tell you're in the more Hong Kong-esque area? Is when a bunch of Indians try to sell you suits. That's how you know. That's how you know you're in the Hong Kong area, sure. It's quite big, Chinatown. It's way bigger than the one in Toronto, that's for sure. You think it's quite big? Yeah. I'd be hey. lying if I said I was hungry. Because I'm not. <laughs> but wouldn't it be kind of dumb to go to Chinatown and not eat real Chinese food? Yep. Let's go check that out. Okay. Cantonese? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. This was unexpected. <laughs> this is literally just like a dim sum back in uh, Guangzhou, Hong Kong. It's pretty nuts. We ordered a bunch of dim sum, so that's cool. Cool beans. And we're gonna see if it tastes anything like the real thing. But I'm gonna let Vivi do that since she's the Cantonese girl. This is um, meatball, beef meatball. They need to put some like special sauce in it. They have a xiang cai, I don't know what's that. Spot on. It's the same. It's the same. I'll disagree with Vivi on that one. No, no. It doesn't taste the same. It almost tastes like that kind of familiar flavor you get from Chinese American food. That kind of oil that they fry things in. They use something in there that tastes exactly like that. But it's really good. This is the what's it called? We call it Niu Bai Ye, which is cow stomach, those like a flur, a kind of like furry part. Let me see, does that taste like back home? Good. Exactly the same. Nice. That tastes exactly like in Guangzhou. That tastes exactly like Guangzhou uh, dim sum cow stomach. Spot on. What we have to order is this chicken feet. Chicken feet. Finally, Bill Chains food in America. Finally, home sweet home. I actually don't particularly like chicken feet unless it's dim sum style when it's uh, dim sum style, it's actually pretty good. It's like slow stewed and black bean sauce. It's usually quite good, falls off the bone. It's a bit different than usual, actually. It's almost like a more of a, a lao gam ma, like a bit of a more pungent taste, a little bit more fermented taste to it. Not like the kind of stewy, nice ones you get in, in Guangdong in China. These ones are a little bit different. I felt like they were a little bit more firm, harder to chew, and the sauce is a little bit more strong. I have to try the shrimp dumpling. That's the most important one. Mm. 
they got way more shrimp here, which nice. is amazing. In China, sometimes like you will have one little shrimp in there, and most of other thing is just meatball. But this one, they have more than three shrimp in them. It's very good. Shrimp dumpling. Vivi gave a stellar review and said that there's more than one shrimp. I'll tell you what, shrimp dumplings and dim sum, even in Hong Kong, you get scammed. You get one little shrimp in there. These ones look chock full. Those are good. Those are good. I have to admit. You get your money's worth with the, uh, the shrimp value in those bad boys. Nice and sweet, delicate, and I don't like the outer skin usually. Uh, on these shrimp dumplings, oftentimes it's too thick and gluey. This one's nice and light, easy to get through. Very, very good. Not too filling. I'm being really surprised about this because, like, overall, my white husband take me to all I'm those like. <laughs> my husband take me to all those like Chinese restaurants. They're not that. They just doesn't taste like back home. And now we are in Chinatown. Scary, comfortable. <laughs> Overall, though, out of these four classic dim sum dishes, pretty much spot on. I mean, you even got the little, you even got the little uh, shrine up there. For good luck, the decor is spot on, and it definitely, definitely tastes much more like Chinese food than you would normally get at a normal Chinese restaurant in America. That's for sure. So usually, if you have a credit card from China, oftentimes it, it won't double charge for a tip. <laughs> and they knew how to exploit that, didn't they? Yeah. They figured it out. We don't try, but we've tried to leave tips a bunch of times, and now we just have to use cash because it's not actually taking it from our card. Mm -hmm. But this time, we went, they knew how to, how to charge the tip, didn't they? Yeah. But it was only $19, by the way, which is quite a good deal. Mm -hmm. I actually just... I mean, we had a lot to drink last night, but I just literally almost fainted because I felt like I was in China. <laughs> like, I just looked up, and I'm like, dude, we're in, we're in China. What the? I'm, I'm freaking out. <laughs> don't I freak actually out. don't feel like we're, we're not here. We're in China, dude. It's freaking China. Mm -hmm. Don't you think so? Yeah. Look at it. It's a Buddhist temple. Even the banks and stuff. You know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I think it's back to get, to, it's time to get to reality. Go back to uh, America, America. What do you think? America, America. <laughs> it's going to be kind of sad to say goodbye because it's just been very interesting. However, it's not like we are we haven't seen this a hundred thousand billion times. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> but all in all, Chinatown, super, super interesting. A lot more to see. We're running out of time. You guys should check it out yourself. I mean, like, if you want, I hate to say this, but if you have never had the chance to go to China or Taiwan or Hong Kong, just come here like honestly i know there's a lot less to do and it's much smaller but you might as well be there wouldn't you agree mm. obviously you're gonna miss out on a lot of you know niche cultural things and there'll be random things like coliseums and stuff here but at the end of the day it's pretty much like china it's hope amazing you guys, hope you guys like the video and if you haven't subscribed already please do that as well and turn on that little bell thing it's important isn't it mm. I want to say thank you so much to my winners and I will catch you on the next one.